I wanted to do a Bio Bear update for you today because I've got some exciting stuff going on in there. So I was going to give you a little tour of the terrarium and then I've got a little bit of maintenance that I need to do. Plus for anyone interested I'll show you how to fill up the bottom and top water tank. So one exciting thing that's going on in here is my Dicinia marmorata jewel orchid has actually sprouted from each side so that means there's going to be two new plants growing you can just see the other one popping out there I'll actually get inside the biob in a minute and show you properly so that's really exciting so it must be quite happy that bit in the middle is an old flower spike that I cut back probably a few months ago and as you can see here one of my other jewel orchids is flowering the flowers aren't really anything that exciting so I probably will end up cutting off the flower spike so that the plant can actually focus its energy on its beautiful leaves. I've got tons of Fetonia in here, I don't know what that is, a stowaway. And then my Begonia maculata whitei that actually died back because it got attacked by thrips over the summer has actually started regrowing. So the part of the plant there with the pale leaves is the part that's regrown and then this darker leaf next to it is another cutting that I just put in there. It's only got one leaf at the moment. And then we've got my variegated syngonium here, which was one that I took out of the biob because again, it got attacked by thrips over the summer and I just thought I'd take it out. And I've only recently just put it back in. I was just rooting it in sphagnum moss in the kitchen. And then at the back there, we've got a anthurium waroquianum, tiny baby from Plants and Paints just before Christmas. It's rooting in sphagnum moss. It's kind of perched on a ledge at the back there. So I have to actually spot water this every kind of three days or so. Oh, here comes the mist. And then to the side there, we've got the Alocasia Bambino. Just some more Fetonia tucked around the back. Oh, and the Begonia Amphioxus. This was another one that actually died right back, purely because I moved it about three inches or something and it didn't like it. Dropped all its leaves. And then one of the leaves actually rerooted in the moss and then it's grown this brand new plant which is very exciting because it's such a fussy little bugger. Right let me get inside the biob so you can get a better look. So there you can see the new growth coming out from the Dicinia marmorata. I'm not sure whether to cut off this leaf here to allow for this bit to grow a bit more easily. I don't know, it's actually a bit funny on the end as well for some reason. I'm not sure, I might actually leave it for now. I love the jewel orchids, they're just so beautiful. They have multiplied quite a bit in here. This is the flower, flower spike shall I say. And there you can see the Begonia Amphioxus there with its strange looking alien like leaves. So next I'll show you how to fill up the bottom water tank which is only something you need to do every couple of weeks or so. I actually prefer not to fill it up completely, I prefer just to fill it up with one bottle of the Humidi Mist and then I just spot water the plants as required. But by filling up the bottom water tank this creates more humidity in here and it just keeps the 
substrate at the bottom slightly moist. Here we have the humidity mist. So to fill up the water tank, you're pretty much just pouring the water around the edge of the plants all the way around and that just drains down into a big tank at the bottom. So I'm just gonna do that all the way around the edge. It's a little bit hard to film. So like I said, I tend to fill mine up just with one bottle of humidity mist, whereas it can take quite a few bottles. But I like to just fill it up with one and then spot water the plants individually as they all have slightly different watering needs. So I'm just going to tip a little bit of the water onto the anthurium just to keep the moss slightly moist. And I do this every three days or so. And then I'll just go around and spot water the plants. The Dicinia marmorata doesn't like a lot of water so I just give that a tiny water around the base. Pretty much the same as the other jewel orchids. But the Fetonia love a good watering so they'll be getting a bit more. And with the Begonia amphioxus that's just a tiny bit of water as well. So that's everyone watered. The fern at the back likes quite a lot of water so I did put a bit more at the back there. Next up I'm just going to add a bit more water to the top water tank and this is actually an ultrasonic fogging system so it will automatically mist your plants every now and again. And I also clean this out every couple of weeks and I just use a bit of apple cider vinegar and filtered water just to clean it out. So when you're topping it up, try not to get it above that little tube there, otherwise the water will drip into the biob. So that's that done. And then now if you close the lid, it will actually start misting the plants automatically. So the only other thing I do to maintain my bio bear is just give the outside of it a little bit of a polish. And I did buy this high gloss polish for my aquarium. So I just use it on the bio bear as well. And it just keeps the sides looking really crystal clear. And I just use it alongside a microfiber cloth. So in regards to maintenance, there's not really much you have to do apart from filling up the bottom and top water tank, spot watering any plants as required and then just doing a little bit of pruning now and again. You don't have to do anything with the lights as they're on a 12 hour timer. I'll keep you guys updated on how all the plants are doing in here. If you've got any questions, just leave them in the comments. If you are thinking about getting one, I have added the BioBear and some accessories into my Amazon shop, which I've linked below in the description box. Thank you so much for watching everyone, I really hope you enjoyed the video. As I said, any questions please ask and take care and I'll see you all soon. Bye everyone!